I, I think Anand, the, the, where I see this moving is that currently a CISO may not come back to the IT team and say that what type of backup we should have, mm. or or because he's he's a, he's a informed party. He's not a decision maker on that. Sure. I think with this become the intelligence in this manner. I think CISO should take it uh, uh, stand saying your existing backups all move into this model where we have a much better assurance because anyway you are doing backup. That's not uh, uh, something new because we've been doing for ages. There is a lot of cost associated. Go for a cheaper operation. Uh, the overheads are much lesser, and which gives a great confidence on the entire cyber cyberspace. Now, one more question there: When you say this data is being collected, how do you collect the data from the systems? Is it a push pull? How does it work? Great. Uh, no, that's a that's an excellent thing. So the, we have aimed to make sure, Sunil, that end users do not have to do any extra work you know, when we when we back up their data. So this is a completely hands off operation. It is a set and forget, you know, uh, type of a setup, right? End users actually don't even have to be bothered. Administrators set up, you know, one time what we call policies. And in the policies, they define, you know, what we wish to back up. So is it, you know, all the all the drives or is it only certain folders? Uh, is it, uh, you know, certain file types? Or if you do not want certain folders or you do not want certain file types, you know, that also can be specified. And once this policy is set, it is an automatic process. So it is a, an operation that works on a schedule. Users don't have to worry. Um, if they are online, the backup will happen. If they are offline, the backup will remember and it will continue once it is online. All our backups are checkpointed. So, you know, it always remembers where it stopped last and picks up from there. Uh, we also use you know, compression and uh, very, very uh, sophisticated deduplication algorithms. We move the minimum amount of payload you know, out from the endpoint into the cloud. So it's a highly efficient system. And again, designed to make sure that users do not have to do any extra work. They are already busy with their regular jobs. We should not be asking them also to take care of their backups. And what if the user is not in office? Even in that case, Sunil, I mean, we work in a, you know, we we work in a zero trust model. So as long as the user is able to authenticate against a reliable identity manager, you know, such as Azure Active Directory or Okta, it doesn't matter where they are. Uh, it, they will get authenticated. Our agent will get authenticated and it will automatically run the backup. So they can be at home. They can be uh, in a hotel room. Uh, they can be at an airport. They can be in a coffee shop. It really doesn't matter. As long as and they're on time, they'll get back up. 